Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be, well, I'm going to be filming a video that I probably am going to find interesting myself, mainly because I probably don't know these hidden messages, and that is 12 hidden messages that you probably haven't noticed in really famous logos, and I probably haven't noticed either. I'm watching this video, um, I'm reacting to the this video from Faxverse, 12 hidden messages and famous logos, so if you want to watch the original video, like, without me talking throughout it, go ahead and watch his video um, and uh, yeah so without further ado let's go ahead and look at these 12 hidden messages and famous logos facts verse presents hidden messages in famous logos all right let's get started number one McDonald's golden arches you know, Everyone I've knows about that this. the golden arches represent the M in the name McDonald's. Right. Most people believe that that's just what it is, the M. Well, back in the 1960s, a design consultant and psychologist named Luis Sheskin said that when customers say the golden arches, that they unconsciously saw the logo as a pair of nourishing breasts. According to Cheskin, anyone who was breastfed would have an automatic reaction what? to the golden arches. Personally, yeah, I French just think fries the is what I feel like. M looks what? like a couple of French fries. Yeah, and see, he thinks the same thing. I just think of French Number fries. Number two, Baskin Robbins. Millions of people love Baskin Robbins ice cream. At first glance, the logo looks like a BR, which many people believe exactly. stands for Baskin Robbins, which of course it does. But if you look closely, there's also a three in the letter B and a number one in the letter R. That represents the 31 flavors of ice what? cream that Baskin Robbins offers on their menu. If they come up with one more flavor, that logo will no longer make sense. I never knew that. Number three, Vio. If you've ever seen the Vio logo, chances are you see it as just a uh -huh. cool way to spell out the company's name. If you're a computer nerd, though, well, you'll see it in a completely different light. The first two letters represent an analog symbol, and the second two letters are binary symbols. Okay, here we symbols. go. I like, I like Amazon. Number four, so. Amazon. Over the years, Amazon has become incredibly popular, and its logo is very noticeable. Most people look at the logo no, and see the arrow Z. underneath and assume that it's a smiley face. While it does look like a smiley face, it's actually an arrow. If you look close, That's you'll see that the that arrow goes know. from okay, yes. A in Amazon to the Z in Amazon. They're trying to tell you that they Damn. sell just about everything from A to Z. Number four, Tostitos. Everybody who's gone to the supermarket has seen a bag of Tostitos. Even if you've never tried them, you've at least seen the bag on a store shelf. Well, at first glance, the logo just looks like it's spelling out the brand's name. If you look closer, though... Wait. Before he says what it was, I I just realized it, okay? And I, I just want to stop the video and, like, you know, say this before people are like, you know what, you, like, said it after he said it, like, it, claiming that you know. A lot of people know this, but I just want to prove that I know it, okay? Because I'm just... I'm going to be that person. It, it's two people enjoying a chip... In, with salsa, I hope that's what it actually is because I'd be, you know, really embarrassing me by like, guaranteeing that I know it and then after that I, I, I don't, but let, let's just, let's just hope that it is. It is much more. If you look at the two T's yeah! in the middle of the name, you'll see that it's actually two stick figures sharing a chip. I never noticed it. Now that you it, know, but... you're likely wondering how you never noticed that before. Number six, IBM. IBM's logo is famous. If you've ever walked yep. through the electronics department at your favorite store or you've seen an IBM commercial, you've seen the logo. Most people believe that the broken up blue lines of the logo simply spell out the name IBM. But there's actually a hidden meaning in the lower right corner. What? If you look close, you'll see an equals sign. That is to represent equality. Number seven, Toyota. The Toyota logo isn't just some design that an advertising agency thought up to make the brand recognizable. The three ellipses in the logo actually represent something. The first represents the heart of the customer. The second represents the heart of the product. The okay, let me just let me just pause this. The amount of thought that goes into all of these is so it, it, it's kind of crazy. And if you think about it, it's it's like 
It's so cool, but like, it's so unnecessary because people have no idea what it even means. I don't know, it's just, it's mind boggling. <laughs> the third represents the progress in the field of technology. These are the three foundations of the company. Number eight, Wendy's. Anyone who's seen the Wendy's logo and the Wendy's commercials believes that the logo is to represent the red-haired daughter of the owner, Dave Thomas. Well, this is partly true. If you look closer, though, at the collar of the red-haired girl's shirt, you'll see that it spells the word Wait, mom. Wait, seriously? It, it, mom. I, oh, okay. All right. Well, that's that's clever. I never, like... Like I said, like, why, why would you put that much thought into it? Because no one's going to notice it anyway. Well, it, unless they watch the video and then they're going to notice it. Number nine, the Bronx Zoo. When you look at the logo for the Bronx Zoo, it looks like two giraffes standing mm -hmm. side by side, with a few birds flying close by. Upon first glance, you just think that these animals represent the animals that you can visit in the zoo. If you look closer, you'll also see that in between the giraffe's legs are buildings. Whoa. This represents the fact that the zoo is located in New York. This is a logo with a double meaning. Never Number 10, that. FedEx. The FedEx logo looks like the name spelled in two bold colors to grab your attention. The logo is actually a bit more clever than that. No. If you look between the E and the X at the end of the logo, you'll see an arrow in the white space. This is there to let the consumer know that the company is always looking toward the future. They're a forward-thinking company, That's and they crazy. want you to know it. Number 11, the Presbyterian Church. This is one of the most clever hidden messages in famous logos. If you look at the logo for the Presbyterian Church, it looks like a symbol that was designed to grab your attention. It's not until you look deep into the logo that you'll see that there are several symbols within the symbol. Each of the symbols represents the church, and they include the cross, the pulpit, the dove, the fish, the cup, the fire, the book, Jeez. and the trinity. It's actually one of the most informative and creative logos. Number 12, NBC. Everyone knows that NBC's logo is a peacock. If you're old enough, you'll likely right. remember their slogan that the station was proud as a peacock. But what you might not know is the purpose of the multiple colors in the symbol. During the 1950s, NBC was owned by RCA. This at a time when the company was beginning to sell color televisions. They put all of the colors on the peacock so that people who were happy with their black and white televisions would realize what they're missing. That's clever. That's that's an old logo. That's like a that's definitely an old logo because you know it's it's not most people don't have a black and white television now. You see what you're missing now. You know what I mean? You're like you, you don't you don't have that. I don't think most people don't. That was definitely really cool. And uh, you know I definitely learned something today. I learned something. Comment in the comment section down below and tell me if you'll ever look at these without without like just immediately noticing these these things because I definitely. Definitely will not. I will. I will look at the FedEx logo. I'll see like a FedEx truck driving by, and I'll be like, "Hey, there's an arrow in between the E and the X." Like, I just won't be able to look at it the same. Also, let me know in the comment section down below, please, please, please. Um, if <sighs> what what you guys want to see next? What what videos you guys want to see next? Whether that's uh me reacting to something like what would you want to see me reacting to what challenges would you want to see me to, uh do uh, just what topics would you want me to cover like what would you want me to talk about anything please comment down in the comment section below because it helps so much thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to get a huge thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to see more comment if you have any questions or suggestions on any video ideas and i will see you guys in the next video